Um, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So in this video, inshallah, I'll be doing a demonstration of how to use um, the Verb Ace app. So the Verb Ace app is uh, a, a translation app that is used to um, translate words between English to Arabic and Arabic to English, English to Arabic and vice versa. So um, to download this app, you can simply for Android users, you can simply go to your Play Store and type Verb Ace, and you would see the um, icon, and simply download. For um, iPhone users, I'm not so sure it's on um, Apple Store. I'm not so sure it's on Apple Store, but it's definitely there on the on the, on the Play Store for Android users. Okay, so um, after downloading the app, and um, you wish to translate um, your words from English to Arabic. So, well, basically, in, um, in the Arabic language, we have um, three classes of words, ismun, fi'lun, and harf, simply nouns, verbs, and uh, every other thing that is neither noun nor verb, which are referred to as particles. Okay, so to translate a word, so say for, for, for example, you want to, uh, so simply click on um, search a word and it will bring your keyboard and type whatever you, you wish to translate so i if um, i want to know how book is written in arabic so i simply type book so it gives me um the arabic um representation of book kitabun so as you can see it brings also um other synonyms of things uh, of things that we use to represent book in Arabic so you can see it brings um, kitabun, sifrun, kurrosun, musannafun so these are synonyms of um, books in the Arabic language so uh, and you can also see it brings other impartial matches like other things that are related to books so those ones we're not going to knock ourselves out on those ones but then so let us focus on the basics book kitabun sifrun kurosun another example um let's say column uh, let's say pen pen so you can see rishatun qalamun qalamu habarin and stuff like that so let's say we want to know the meaning of um house in arabic house so we can see it brings manzilun baytun darun rabun ma'wan so these are synonyms of things synonym of um synonyms of um, house in arabic language so it's as simple as that so so these are nouns generally these are nouns so if what what if you want to um learn uh, uh verbs okay verbs let's say um verb uh, to sit right sit sit so you can see it brings um verb of sit jala verb to sit jalasa qa'ada we can see in the bracket we have fi'lun so it means the fi'l fi'l means verb so the fi'l of um to sit is what jalasa qa'ada do we understand so jalasa qa'ada so let's say okay another stand stand you can see look at so always um, focus on what you have in that square bracket. On that square bracket, you can see. So if it says ismun, then those are nouns. If it says um, fi'lun, so those are verbs. So a uh, square bracket says fi'lun. So it means waqafa, it's a verb. Qawma, it's in tasaba. So all these, you know, are um, synonyms of words in Arabic used to represent the action of outstanding. So and the likes like that. So... Um, okay, so that's that, that, that's um, on verb. Then on particles, let's say um, on particle on. So you can see the square bracket again. Half jar. The square bracket is on the um, right hand side. Okay, so we can see half jar. So it means particle. So ala, inda, fi, falco, and stuff like that. So basically, you know, in uh, so those are um, pretty much on um, particles. So. This is, so this is a demo of translation from English to Arabic. So what if you want to translate from um, Arabic to, down to English? That is, we come across an Arabic word that uh, we do not know the meaning. So we wish to know the meaning of that word. So you can simply type it, swipe your keyboard to Arabic. You can see I swiped mine. It's in Arabic mode now. So I can simply type whatever, uh, whatever, uh, <laughs> whatever Arabic, <laughs> whatever Arabic I wish to do the meaning. So, for example, okay, let's say a noun. Um, okay, simply uh, pillow, for example, pillow. 
what am I saying? Okay, let's use um, the common um, Arabic words Baitun. For example, I come across this word, I don't know the meaning, so I can simply type it in Baitun. So it brings um, the meaning of Baitun. You can see home, house, residence. So focus on the square bracket, Ismun. Ismun, you can see. So, so it's, it gives us the meaning of house, for of Baitun rather. So if you want to know the meaning of um, Serirun, Serirun, uh, we come across this word, you don't know the meaning, simply punch it and it brings the meaning for you. You can see Seri rune. Now you look at the Seri rune there. So you know you can see a, a um, bracket there. We have Jim in purple color. So that Jim means the Jamu of Seri rune. So it's the word Jamu of Seri rune, which is what Usil Lotun. So le let's go back to Beitun. Beitun. You can see Beitun, the bracket in front of Beitun. When, when, when it says Jamu, Jamu, uh, when it says Jim, Jim means Jamu, which means plural of bait. So bait, so it brings Buyutun, then Abiyatun. Buyutun, Abiyatun. You understand? So it's giving us the Jamu as well as also the meaning of what Beitun. Okay, so this that's an example of noun. Uh, let's um, look for another example of um, verb. So let's look for verb. Say, okay. I will have um, Zahaba, for example. Zahaba, we come across this verb, we don't know the meaning, so we simply punch it and it gives you. So we can see Zahaba, it means to go, to leave, to quit something. Now look at the Arabic word Zahaba, that is in the dictionary now. So we can see a bracket in front of it, Abi. So in that bracket, we have something like a Fatha. Okay, we see one, then we see. Um, then we say fatha, right? So that's an indication. It's giving us a hint of how um, that verb will go from muddy to mudori. For some of us that doesn't know the meaning of muddy to mudori, we are still going to um, come across it in our classes, right? Muddy is past, past tense. Mudori is present tense. So to change um, this zahaba, which is in the past tense, to mudori, present tense. So this dictionary is giving us an hint. We can see um, after the right after in, inside the bracket we see one then comma then we see like a line on that line is something like a slant line which is indicating fatha which means in the modern state the final um, of that verb will carry fatha for example this uh, the template of this verb is fa'ala so the modern will take what yaf'alu so it means zahaba yadhabu so the ayinu lifi'il is usually the second letter of a three-lettered verb. Second letter of a three-lettered verb. So we can see for zahaba it is ha. So it means in the mudari'u state that ha will be taken what? Fatha. That is the indication of what we are seeing in that bracket. So aside from giving us the meaning, it's also giving us an indication, right? Then what we have after is izhab, which is the amru. So let's look for another um, verb. Um, khoroja. Khoroja. Oh no, let me use um Kotala. Kotala. So Kotala. So it's giving us the meaning first. See, it, it means to kill, to murder, right? Mm -hmm. So if you look at the Arabic um, writing of um, Kotala in the dictionary, in front of it we have a bracket. So after writing one, then comma, we can see a line, a purple line, then a doma written on that line, which means the Ainu Lifin. And what is the Ainu Lifin? It is the second letter of a three lettered verb. And if you look at Kotala, our second letter it is Ta. So it means in the Mudodin, when we are changing this Kotala, which is in Modi to Mudodin, the Ta will be taken what? A doma. That is the indication of that Duma we are seeing in the bracket. So in the Mudodin, the Ta will be taken Duma. So Kotala, the Mudodin will be what? Yok Tulu. Yok Tulu. Let's look for Jalasa. Jalasa. Look at Jalasa now. So it gives us the meaning of Jalasa, which is means to sit, to perch, to sit down, you know, and the likes. So look at the um, Arabic of Jalasa. Um, in the bracket, we see that we see a line, and under that line, we see like a slanted or castle, which is indicating that the Ainu Lefin, which is the second letter of a three lettered verb, in the case of Jalasa, what, what is that? That is Lam. Because look at, if you look at Jim Lam and say Lam the second letter, so it means the Lam will be taking a castle in the modern state. 
that is when we are taking it from Madi to Mudari'u. So we have Chalasa in the Madi, then in the Mudari'u it will become Ijejlisu. So this um, dictionary is usually, uh, actually very handy, you know, in that it gives us a hint of what the Mudari'u will look like. Many other obtainable dictionaries will not, you know, do that. It will just give you the meaning and that's all. It give you the meaning and that's all. But this one goes further to give... Uh, give us a hint of what the Mudoriya will look like. So this is pretty much all you need to, uh, the major things you need to know about the verb is um, Arabic dictionary. So it's easy for you to translate from English to Arabic and it will even give you, you know, synonyms and, you know, other matching and relating um, wordings to the um, um, particular vocabulary you have typed in. And also, it's easy for you to translate from Arabic down to English. So, you can translate noun, verbs, particles, and the likes. And it also gives us an extra, like an extra int for verbs, in that it suggests what the word Mudodi will look like you know, by giving us either, okay, Fatha, Kesar, or Dumma. So, I think uh, this is where um, we are going to stop. If we have questions, we can simply ask um, the facilitators. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah, nashadu wa la ilaha 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 ilaha